So what you can also do is you can create custom color palettes so that you can choose from a range of colors inside of GIMP. So to do that, you need to go around onto Windows right here. Then you need to go to Dockable Dialogs right here. And what you can do is you can go around onto Palettes. So once you do that, you can see that you see all the color palettes over here, different sort of color palettes that you can choose from over here. And if I were to go around over here onto the colors, then you can see that particular color palette. So if I were to go around over here, onto the color palette, then you see the colors, the specific colors that you can choose from right here. But let's say I want to create my own. So in that case, I need to go around onto the color palette right here and click on new just like this. And once you do that, you got an untitled color palette. And then what you can simply do is you can go around and name the color palette as you want. So I'm just going to go around and say to do palette right here, just like this. And then I'm going to go around and click on new. So once I do that, the selected color is added in the palette section, as you can see. Similarly, I can go around and swap the color and add new palette right here. For each of the colors right here, you can also go around and name it. So let's say, for example, I'm going to say purple. And for this one, I'm going to go around and say yellow. So just like this, I got yellow and purple palette right here. So similarly, I can go around, choose another color over here. Like, let's say, for example, uh, this tone of red right here and press OK. And if I were to go around over here, there's another color palette over here. So just like this, I'm just going to go around and open up this image right here, just like this. So let's just go around and open this out right here. And what I can do is I can take around um, a color sample right here, just like this. I can go around, take a color sample and let's just go around on to set foreground color and take the sample. Now I can go around and make this another color palette right here. Then I can take another sample right here, just like this. So I can go around and click around over here and make this another color palette right here. You can also go around and select out a uh, color and then delete it right here as well. Or you can go around over here onto a uh, color palette just like this. So you can go around over here, click on it, and then I'm going to go around, press the plus button. So this is what I have as you can see. And if I were to go to zoom out, it zooms out. And you can go around and zoom in over here just like this as well by clicking on the plus button right here. Time and again, you can go around and click on it right here. Then you can see that I can zoom all as well and also view out different range of colors like I can set for one single row or I can go for two rows, three rows and I got different color palettes as you can see right here. You can also take out the color palette editor and as I click on the color palette, you can see that this is what you have. And that is how you can create custom color palettes inside of GIMP. So hope you guys learn something as always and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.